Hello friends and welcome to a brand new camera comparison between the newly announced Samsung Galaxy S24 against the iPhone 15. Right now we are recording at 4K at 30 frames per second. Tell me in the comment section below which one do you think has better colors and which one has a better audio. Before we start reviewing pictures let me just address the testing process for new viewers. All the daylight pictures are taken in auto mode with scene optimizer enabled on the Galaxy but all the other AI or beauty features are disabled. On the iPhone there aren't any dedicated features to be turned off. When it comes to their main cameras both devices are really good. They take outstanding pictures with plenty of details and excellent dynamic range. There are however some differences in processing so let's point them out. The Galaxy S24 usually takes brighter and more vibrant pictures where shadow areas are enhanced for better visibility. The iPhone 15 on the other hand takes more natural pictures but as you can see some parts of the building are darker. There are also some differences in colors. For example in this case the S24 is very vibrant but the entire picture has a cooler tone while the iPhone 15 is warmer and more on the yellowish side. Both are great and it is just a matter of preference on which one you like more. In my eyes the Galaxy S24 is doing better when it comes to objects that are far away. In this instance all the buildings seem to be sharper and better defined compared to how they look on the iPhone which is doing a better job with the sky rendition. Both devices are equipped with ultra-wide cameras and just as expected from these flagships both inherit the colors of their main cameras. They do differ in color tone but overall both pictures are amazing. The S24 just like earlier is performing a great job by making darker areas more visible while the iPhone has a more dramatic sky. Personally, I prefer the S24 but I have to admit that the iPhone is really good too. The difference becomes even bigger in this next instance and for people who like bright and vibrant pictures the S24 is a top choice. On the other hand if you prefer natural pictures then the iPhone should be your pick. These next pictures were taken in bad weather and the difference in color is enormous. The S24 just like earlier made the picture brighter and more visible while the iPhone is honestly way too dark and I don't really like its implementation. Since these devices have great main cameras, they can zoom in at 2x without losing quality. Both are very sharp and the only differences here are in terms of color tone. So far the iPhone has been constantly warmer while the S24 cooler but they switched the roles in this next situation. When I saw the results I was really surprised since both performed differently but nevertheless both pictures are very sharp. At 3x the S24 switches to its telephoto camera while the iPhone relies on digital zoom. Although we are comparing optical to digital zoom, at least in this case the iPhone 15 seems to be holding its own very well. In this next sample the difference becomes a bit bigger in favor of the S24 which is sharper obviously but the iPhone isn't bad at all. Sure we can find some imperfections but its picture is usable. While the iPhone 15 is doing really well with digital zoom I can't deny that having a dedicated telephoto camera is a big bonus for me. Samsung's pictures usually don't have as much noise as the iPhone's pictures. When taking portraits with their main cameras you can see that they have totally different implementations. While both are doing great with edge detection my skin color looks a bit warmer on the S24 compared to how I look in real life. The iPhone 15 is displaying my face with more accuracy. Portraits taken at 2x are a similar story but this time I prefer how I look on the S24 because it makes me be different from the background and I am more in focus. The iPhone on the other hand has a muted color tone and although good, it isn't quite at the level of the S24. When it comes to selfies the S24 is preserving more facial details compared to the iPhone. When it comes to skin colors in this particular sample neither of them did well since I look somewhere in between these two samples. This other scene is tricky because I look more accurate on the iPhone while my boyfriend looks more accurate on the S24 since his face isn't always so red as it is displayed on the 15. The S24 made my face too yellow and I don't look like this in reality. The Samsung Galaxy S24 continues to highlight shadow areas more even with video recording. 
I wouldn't quite call it better than the iPhone's video but surely the difference isn't as big anymore. I didn't use 8K on the Galaxy since the dynamic range isn't as good. Stabilization is great on both devices. When recording with their ultra-wide cameras the iPhone 15 is actually displaying slightly better colors and even the sky seems to be more pronounced than on the S24. Besides that both are still extremely stable with excellent dynamic range. Moving to low light and from now on every picture is taken with night mode enabled with auto seconds. With these selfies we can clearly see that the S24 is much sharper compared to the iPhone 15 which has lost most of my facial details. The difference becomes even bigger in this next scene with the S24 being great and the iPhone being messy. Even my individual hair stripes are in focus on the S24 which is really remarkable. With their main cameras in this scene the iPhone is better. Its colors are really impressive with great contrast between the objects. The S24 on the other hand looks like it is taken with a filter and it doesn't resemble realism. The Galaxy however is performing much better when it comes to lights. The iPhone is a bit brighter but as you can see the store lights are blown out while they are perfectly handled on the S24. Samsung's processing with street lights this year seems to be amazing. Both devices take pictures with plenty of details and even the tiniest things are perfectly visible but just look at the light bulb on the iPhone, it is nowhere near as refined as it is on the S24. This wasn't always the case and in some samples like this one the iPhone is actually able to hold its own with the S24. I would go as far and say that it is better compared to the Galaxy but since it is a camera comparison between two flagships these results are predictable and one phone isn't always the winner. With their ultra-wide cameras at the same place the S24 totally crushes the iPhone 15 which drops in quality quite a bit. The ultra-wide of the Galaxy seems to be much better these kinds of places where the light sources aren't that present. The iPhone 15 is doing much better in this next sample by offering a great image but once again in my eyes the Samsung Galaxy S24 is ahead. The iPhone 15 has a more aggressive sharpening and it doesn't look as natural as the S24. When light sources are plentiful the iPhone 15 is almost at the same level as the S24. In this particular case it is carrying out better compared to how it did with its main camera. The S24 on the other hand is almost perfect. At 3x the S24 is sharper and the glowing text is on check. The iPhone isn't bad at all but no matter how good the main camera is, it just can't beat a dedicated telephoto sensor. The difference is a lot bigger in this next scene with the iPhone losing details and the texts being messy while the S24 has kept most of the details. The telephoto camera of the Galaxy S24 is really good this year. When it comes to portraits with their main cameras just like in daylight the iPhone has muted colors while the S24 is brighter and more vibrant. In this case I definitely prefer the S24 since I am more in the spotlight. The iPhone can also take portraits at 2x while for the Galaxy I switched to its telephoto sensor and went a bit further away to match the perspective of the iPhone. This time I kind of prefer the iPhone 15 since my face has a yellowish tint on the S24. So guys what do you think? Which one was your winner? Although for me there wasn't a clear winner, it is obvious that the S24 was better in more samples. If you did enjoy this video then a thumbs up would be appreciated. Thank you for watching and for more content like this please consider subscribing to our channel.